Hi y'all, Liz here again today and still talking ABCs of cleaning, the most basic of basics. And today I wanna to talk about efficiency because efficiency matters in cleaning, you guys all know that. And it doesn't really matter how you're getting paid, right? Are you getting paid hourly or if you're getting paid uh, by percentage or commission? Either way, you wanna be the most efficient that you can be. Uh, either way, I keep repeating that, sorry. I should probably get this edited out, but it's probably not gonna happen. So, either way, with when you're cleaning, the more efficient that you are, the more effective you are at your cleaning, the better off everybody will be, you and your company. The more money everybody will be making. I mean, that's pretty much what it's about, right? Money in the pockets, no money in your pockets, why you even got a job here? So, how is it that you can be more effective and more efficient in your cleaning. So efficiency is one of those things that seems really easy. Just do what you're supposed to do, mm, but not so much. It's not really just about doing what you're supposed to do because a lot of times small things will happen over time that we don't even notice or recognize until we've lost the efficiency and then we have to go searching for where did it go. So I'm gonna give you some basics, okay? When you are trying to be more efficient, one of the things that you wanna do is don't over wipe. So don't go like this and then go like this, going over it, right? Not one way and then the other way. So slower motions that are, are well-defined so that you're getting one area and then the next area is a better motion. Of course, we need to do a lot faster than this, but it's, you're going to be more efficient if you're not overlapping, right? Just cleaning as you go or up and down, depending on where you're going. Again, rotating your hand and uh, not overlapping stuff. So overlapping is a big thing that you don't wanna be doing. You'll lose efficiency and going too fast, you also will. When you go too fast, you definitely uh, overlap and you also wasted motion. You go too fast like this pretty soon, you're worn out on your arm, you get tired, so then you start going double slow. You lose efficiency. Uh, another way that we lose efficiency is walking back and forth, moving too much. So you grab your caddy or your bucket or whatever it is that you happen to, that you need to clean with, and you walk in all the way upstairs and you realize, darn, forgot the vacuum cleaner. And you walk all the way back downstairs and you grab the vacuum cleaner and you go all the way back upstairs and you realize, dang, forgot the cobwebber. Two things are gonna happen there. One, and you know I'm telling the truth here, one is you're gonna go, eh, they don't look that bad today. Not good, <laughs> not efficient, because next time somebody's gonna have to do double duty on that, right? Or you think, actually one of three things, or you think, eh, good enough with this cloth, bam, bam, and you hit it down, right? Or third, uh, you have to go all the way back downstairs, get your cobwebber and come all the way back upstairs. All three of these, bad. So. Efficiency means making sure that you have the right stuff at, for the right area that you're gonna be cleaning. A little bit of forethought. Figure out where you're going, figure out what you need, and take it all with you and go. Another one, mopping. Mopping, same problem, you have the same problem with mopping that you have with wiping if you're not careful. Over mopping, too much, too fast. Uh, oh, what's it called, overlapping. Overlapping areas again, same spot, versus getting a nice smooth motion. Uh, also, with mopping, you can be using not, you won't be efficient if you're using the wrong products. So if you have too much chemical, too little chemical, not enough water, too much water, all of these things can make your efficiency levels drop, really dr dramatically too. Uh, another thing is when you're working in a team, that if you are not communicating very well, your efficiency can drop because you can clean over each other or be constantly checking in with where have you done, where have you gotten, da, 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 and you can miss stuff. So if you're working in a team, you wanna have set schedules, everybody knows exactly what they're responsible for and what they're cleaning so that you don't have this communication gaffes that can cause big efficiency issues too. All right, one last little efficiency thing that I wanted to talk about, and that is driving. <laughs> getting to the job and getting to the next job. If you're going the wrong way, if you're not good at loading your products, chemicals, equipment out of the house and putting them into the car and then getting in the car and driving off, vice versa, when you get to the house, if you're not good at unloading your vehicle and getting everything into the house, huge, 
gaps in efficiency there. If you're a solo maid, a little bit better. But if you're a team, oh boy, just track it one day. You'll be shocked at how much time and money, right? Every time time is gone, money is gone, is spent just in driving, loading, and unloading. Those things are huge. All right, so my question for you today is, what is one area that you can work on to improve your efficiency? Just one, you don't have to work on everything, but everybody has at least one area that they could work on to improve their efficiency. What is yours? Okay, that's it for today, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.